Today we are opening up my favorite ever type of video. It is a custom made booster box from my collection and what that is, it's where I take 36 boosters The IC would be really really fun to open and we make our own custom booster box and obviously this is the best box the world's number one and it's all filled with Pokemon packs. So this is going to be really, really exciting. And we are starting it off right here with a first edition Neo Genesis. These puppies can sell for over $1,000 on eBay. And we're just cracking it open to start the video. Now, inside of here, the card that everybody wants to pull. It's either the Lugia first edition in PSA 10 or the world's hardest card to grade, the Typhlosion. So let's do it. I'm going to go, let's just do two from the back, just in case. But to be honest, it's all first edition. It's all Neo Genesis and all you want. Elusive holo card, all right? So here we go. I'm going to put these to the side because I really want to keep them. But the art is going to be off the charts already. First edition Cyndaquil. This is fantastic. Please demolish the like button if you love these custom booster boxes because I love filming them. All right, Cyndaquil. Got the psychic type. Got the darkness as well. Don't worry, these are first edition. Oh, I thought that was the rare for a minute. We're all good. This is it like the e-reader logo? Got the card flip game. Then we got the Pilo Swine. Gosh, Neo booster packs and just Neo like sets in general have the most stunning art. I think it's something to do with generation two just being so nice. I mean, look at the artwork, guys. This is how I want to start my Monday morning. This is amazing. Why is the HP so tiny? Sunkern as well. Please be a holo. Please be a holo. Here we go. First edition Neo Genesis. Got the spinner act as well. I love Gen 2. There's a picture of me as a kid wearing a Gen 2 sweater, and it's like the most iconic image ever. Sums me up pretty well. Double gas. The artwork is sensational. Shuckle. Is Shuckle going to be a sign? That artwork is just very iconic. No way, what was the regular rare? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling the booster box early. We're all going home because the first regular rare was a first edition darkness energy. I'm so, so sorry. That's what happened. Okay, you know what? At least we got a Cyndaquil. That's actually better in my books, but a holo would have been nice. But you know what? Not all hope is lost because somewhere in here, we have a first edition Team Rocket as well. But let's kick it off with some hidden fate. Maybe the, uh, <laughs> the hope train is going to be redeemed. Oh man, I just feel, I just feel real bad for you guys, like, that was going to be an awesome thing to watch, and we all just got a first edition, but that's alright, that's how the Pokemon cards work, and there is a really, really shining card at the end of this one, got the Jinx, got the Graveler, Farfetch, Geodude, Slowpoke, do you think it's a Rainbow Red, do you think it's a potential Charizard, if we get a Zard, I'm literally going to poop my pants, live on camera, okay, here we go, shiny Riolu, Fantastic, here we go. This is the start I was hoping for. And the Rainbow Rare Birds Trio Full Art Card. And I know it doesn't go for too much, like Hidden Fates in general is a very up and down set. But let's be honest, getting a double hitter on the second pack, it's a redemption. And Shiny Riolu. This is amazing. I'm putting you guys at the back. And let's keep it going. I actually got a few uh, Hidden Fates boosters because I really, really do like the set. And I think you guys do as well, but... It's not often you have an excuse to open it up. So when I was like thinking about packs to make up the best ever world's number one custom booster box, obviously we had to whip out a few Hidden Fates. Got a Graveler. Is Hidden Fates your favorite holiday set? It's one of the first original ones where they started to like really pump them out. And I think it's a lot of people's favorite. Reverse Ekans and Brock's training as the holo. Put you with the other ones. Oh snap, there it is. We'll unbox our vintage pack in just a second. Let's sample a couple of these uh, Shining Fates. I know you're probably sick of it after uh, the video we did where we gave away a binder full of Shining Fates. It would be so funny if we get the Charizard on the video where we're not looking for the Charizard. The big Shining Charizard VMAX. Got the Q-Font. Got the Cacnea. Tropius Reverse and a regular rare Celery. That's his new name now. He's just a sticker Celery. All right, there you go. I'm giving away all the codes as well. They're all for free. I'm literally uh, about to jump on a plane, so I won't have time to cash them in. So I'm gonna upload this video, and you guys are more than welcome to take all the code cards. Yanma, Horsey, Shinx, got the Grookey. My eyeball is itching! It's Galarian Runa Egos right there. I'll take it, put that with our Riolu at the back. Our golden pre-evolution Lucario. 
and a Galarian Weezing. Everybody looking at that Team Rocket right now, everyone sniffing out the pulls. So let's hope with our first edition Team Rocket right here is gonna be a little bit better than our first edition Neo Jet. How'd we even get an energy? I didn't even know that was possible. If there, if I think if there's bad luck to be had, Uncle Ando's gonna get it. All right, let's just go. Should we go three? Let's do three. Classic team. Oh no. Oh, okay, I thought that was the regular rare. Dark Electrode coming in as the uncommon. First edition stamp. Put these to the side. Challenge. Guys, there is something so good about Wizard of the Coast art. Oh, I don't know what happened when Nintendo took over, but this is like peak vintage for me. If you don't know my like uh, a bit of my backstory, when I was a kid. I used to do chores for mum and dad, but I didn't really want money because, you know, what good is money to, like, a little kid? I wanted to be paid in Pokemon cards, so I was paid in Team Rocket Pokemon cards, and dad would have, like, Team Rocket booster packs in his drawer, and when I did, like, a mow the lawns or something, I'd get a few cards out of that booster. So this is why this is so nostalgic to me, and I really enjoy getting these cards just to add to my collection. Rotata, what are we gonna get? Everyone? Oh no, Goop Gas Attack, please don't let it be another regular rare. Oh yes, it's a holo Dark Machamp first edition. Yo, I told you this booster box was gonna be fun. Already getting shining cards, already getting a holos from back in the day. First edition Dark Machamp. Guys, I wish I could open up an entire booster box, just old school stuff. It's so much fun. Okay, we've got a shining face again. And looks like we got a hidden face as well. And then there's also celebrations back there. When, oh, if we get that reprint Charizard or even just like Venusaur or uh, Blast Toys, that would be awesome. That'd be a lot of fun. But I think there's a lot of opportunities for us to get other stuff too. And randomly there's Vivid Voltage in this opening because the Vivid Voltage packs came with the celebration boxes. And I'm not going to argue with a fat Chalky Chew to go with Old Mate at the back. Now we're just going to ignore that regular rare Dreadnought. And as you can see right here, we have... Evolutions filled this thing up. I did not realize there were 10 evolution packs inside of a Kanto Powers box. So when I had my spare one, I was like, guys, let's open it up and see what we can get. I mean, there's a potential we can get two base set reprint Charizards out of Celebrations and Evolutions. Manaphy. Now let's sample a Hidden Fates. Then we'll go and do a uh, X and Y. Evo right there, put you to the side. Do you guys remember when like no one really liked Evolutions? It was like not that fun to open, it was just printed into the ground. Then all of a sudden, I think it was around the Logan Paul hype, Evolutions took off. It was the most popular set ever. I do, I remember a time like I'd say it's a fun set and people were hating on it. <gasps> oh, don't play with my Jiminy Crickets like that. It's a full uh, electrode shiny. Oh, did anyone think it was a Charizard just for a little bit? I'll take a full on shiny though. That is amazing. Electro GX. This day is fantastic. The sun is shining. The pools are coming in strong. Hot diggity daffodil. And then we got regular rare. Look at him. Oh, that texture is gnarly. Put you with the back electrode. Shiny blue great ball. Let's open up an Evo. Now, is it... Kanto Powers box, is it part of the reprint? Like is this, I don't know, gonna have really nerfed pulls and we're not gonna get that good of stuff out of it? Or could we get some potential Bangarooskis? Got the Magma, they're all sticking together. Got the Growlithe, Ghastly, Love Charmander, Rattata, Caterpie. This would be a fun, oi! Pikachu? Shout out to the uh, Era Pikachu that we unboxed a while ago. All right, Reverse Pikachu and a Dugong. Yeah, I don't know. Is it going to be a nerf pull situation, or are we going to get something good out of it? I'd love to start seeing a few full arts. Remember that full art Mega Blast toys in the set? Oh, Mama, it looks good. Three from the back, so it's an X and Y set. We are dabbling between a lot of different eras in a uh, custom booster box, but that's the fun of it, little Timmy. All right, everyone's favorite upside down canopy. How does that happen? I really want to go to the printing factory and find out how they pack these things. Hey, not even bad! Reprint Hollow Nido King. You get a bit of Wizard of Coast vibes, but you also get the Pokemon fun vibes as well. This is a good one. I'm glad I put evolutions in this. I love Nido King. Underrated Pokemon for sure. All right, put Nido King Hollow at the back. And just for the lols, I kind of want to keep going. I'm on a roll with Evo right now. Do you guys think I should open it? Oh, I don't want to do it. I was going to say, do you think I should open another booster box? But no, that's so... Don't make me do that. I've done too many. 
And uh, I think, hey, secret rare team rocket. I'll put you at the back. I've done too many and it's getting to the point now where like Evo's so reprinted, it's harder and harder to get the Charizard. But there's something so fun about it. I'm gonna have nightmares about this Ponita just cause of that error one that we pulled. Vulpix, got the darkness. Here we go, Growlithe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Do not deliver me a red color right here. I literally, I, <laughs> I think Zard. Okay, one more Evo and then we'll start with our Hidden Fates and, oh my, oh no, oh I had to do it, I had to do it, every custom booster box I do, I put at least one Steam Siege in there, just to remind us how good Pokemon cards can be, and how bad they can be. You know, I, I like to put your mood right to the floor, so then I can bring it right up again. It's a good palate cleanser, Steam Siege. If you're ever feeling like you're not appreciating Pokemon, go, go order a Steam Siege off eBay, see how you feel after that. Nine Tails, that's not bad. Wouldn't mind a Charizard on the reverse, which I think is possible. All right, here we go. We're doing the palette cleanser. You're on a high, you're like, wow, this video is fantastic. I'm gonna bring you down here. Almost wanting to click the dislike button. But trust me, don't do it yet, because after we unbox this, we're back to the fun stuff, little Timmy. I may have uh, jumped the gun a bit early and opened the vintage first, but I'm impatient like that. I just really wanted to see what was inside the vintage. And what do you know? Steam Siege has given us the goods with a... Oh no, it was, it was, uh... <laughs> X and Y, so it's three. I felt something there. This actually could be decent. Steam Siege, don't you dare try to redeem yourself. Shellos, got a Crow Gunk. Tangela, got the Clink. Here we go. Joltik, and. I mean, none other than an old school EX ball. Got the Volcanion half and half energy. Don't ask what they were doing there. Steam Siege is its own animal. You just sort of let it be. It just exists, all right? We can't hate it too much, little Timmy. I know you want to. Don't, don't. Don't hate it on too much. It's provided the goods. Volcanion EX. Now, I've got a few of the new Brilliant Stars boosters in here. This is a fun set in my eyes. There are so many cards. Like, I mean, so many for us to try and track down in this thing. The, I, you know what? Doesn't help. It doesn't hurt ever opening a couple of these. Unlisted Leaf. Starmie. Got the Weavile, Cheruby, Riolu, got the Starly, Spirit Zoom, come on Purloin, Reverse Luxray, and a hollow, shocked looking Bibaro. He's like, bruh, they caught me building my hut. All right, you go at the back, buddy. Let's open up another one. Got obviously Charizard in the front. That's when everyone wants to pull that glorious Rainbow Rare Charizard V Star. Here we go, got the white border on that puppy. Okay, V Star marker. I don't think we're gonna get anything in this one, but let's have a go. Morgrim, got the Gabite, Staravia, and we got Shinx. What do you guys think? Do you like these custom made booster boxes? I was thinking about making a bit of a series, like, we build up a lot of these, um, that Mewtwo regular is not bad, but we do. We build up a lot of these, like, rare boosters or fun boosters that I guess don't need their own video. But I think as me as a Pokemon card collector, I love opening boosters. So, about us making a booster box, a custom made one, like, once a month. I reckon that'd be a fun idea and we can go through a bunch of different sets. Alright, fighting. Charmeleon, Misty, come on! Scyther, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, what do you reckon? Ekans, got the coughing, Cubone, oh! Mr. Mime. Alright, back to uh, Shining Phase. That's say Steam Siege again. It's, it's a stickler, it stays on your mind after you've opened it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, swing it around. We've got a water type as well. Gym Trainer, Tropius, got the Float Cell, Yanma, Boozil, got the Grookey, Qfont, Snom. Amazing rare Kyogre. Amazing rares are in this set as well. Fantastic, and a Zarude. So not all hope is lost. What is this, a Hidden Fates? Okay, let's go. Directly compare it to Shining Fates, which we just opened up, and it's a white and green, which you love to see. I hope it's four, yep, it is, okay. Fly type, got the Scyther as well. Obviously my favorite pull so far. I don't know about you guys, but that Dark Machamp is looking gorgeous. I keep looking at it out the side of my eye. It's so beautiful. And that first edition logo just pops. Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie. All right, that probably wasn't the best comparison in uh, Shining Fates versus Hidden Fates. So let's open up one more. Got a Charizard on this puppy. And then I actually, I want to open up a uh, Celebrations just to see what we can get. But Celebrations is so hard to compare to like Hidden Fates or Shining Fates because it's really just a different ball game. It's like its own holiday set with not too many cards in there, but they are all Slapperooskies if you get the Heritage set. P 
Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff. Here we go. Eevee, Shiny DNC. This is good. Then the regular rare Jolteon. But Jolteon being in the set is fantastic. We're getting a good amount of Shinings. This is pretty decent. Now, let's open up the celebrations just to compare it. Love the logo. Very, yeah, it's a very sick set. And I think in five years, we'll be looking back going, whoa, can't believe they did that. Like, that was the coolest 25th anniversary celebration ever. There you guys go. Hopefully someone gets the old Zard. We're going to go one from the back. We got Zamazenta V to start it off. That's what I'm talking about. Randomly, it's such a good start. Then we got... 25th anniversary logo on the ground on. Got the Palkia and the Veltal. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Let's do one more as the regular holo. With there only being like four cards per booster, it's actually quite difficult to open up each individual pack. One from the back. Hey, no, look at this. This is good. We're like technically two for two in celebrations. Flying Pikachu VMAX. I love this card. The texture looks unreal. I've got two fat Pikachus. One on the wall, one in the plush form. So getting this one is fantastic. All right, Flying Pikachu VMAX. You go to the recap at the back. It's going to be an amazing recap. Fat Pikachu's going to hold all the cards back there. Got a Dialga and a Cosmog. That's all right. Let's do actually one more. I'm addicted. Celebration. We should... I know there's no point. We should open up a Celebrations booster box. So many cards to open, so little time. Lunala, Ho-Ho, Kyogre, and an Aveltal. All right, I want to open up a Vivid Voltage now. We've been talking about a Pikachu. I think I smell a fat Pikachu coming up. I think I smell a ra- It's been done before. I have pulled a rainbow rare Pikachu when I wasn't meant to, so it's possible. Fire type to start it off, though. Got the Charmeleon in there as well. Got the Mudbray, Joltik, Weedle. Taylor. I think Charizard is pretty like... <sighs> I thought that was Charizard. I think Charizard was like very popular when this set came out. It was like everyone was hunting for it. Let's go to another Viv Voltage. So I think we have two Viv Voltage from the collection boxes that we opened up to make this thing. So swing it around. Another shot at a Pikachu or even like anything else to be honest. A lot of things to get in this set and you can even get amazing rares which if you don't have a code card that says you got something you could still get that amazing rare in the slot. Got the Oshawa, got the Pineco. Oh, it's Colossal VMAX. I knew there was something like, I saw the shine at the back and I was like, hold up. There is 110% something back there. It's Colossal with the texture. Can go without flying Pikachu back there. All right, bud. What else is back here? Just a bunch of evolutions. Let's do another hidden face right now. Oh, can we get, come on, come on, come on. Charizard of anything. I think that would be like an iconic moment. What do we unbox? The Hidden Fate. So four. That would, oh my! There is something in the back and it has a lot of sparkle. Misty. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Come on! Oh, okay. This is a huge hit though. Like Gardevoir has such a big following. I don't know if it still is a popular card, but when this set came out, it was top four, top five cards. Easily trying to get... Full art, shiny God of War GX. It is banger. But right behind Misty's Hollow, that's not bad either. I'm not even the biggest God of War fan, and I do appreciate this card for what it is. It's amazing. Man, this is exciting. The best part about doing a custom like booster box right, there's no ratios. You could get all slappers, and it like doesn't make any sense. In saying that though, you could get all duds, and like that would be equally as understandable. And also, there's no like boring boosters. Every pack is exciting. It's got something. You put it in there for a reason. Voltorb. Geo dude. Oh, it's Starmie G. When you get that reversed, you're like, oh, it's not part of the Shining set. It's part of the regular set. It's still a banger. Like, it's still a good pull. And let's keep it going from the front, just like a normal booster box. Shining face. Could get Charizard. Could get a Shining card. Could get an amazing rare. Too many flipping cards in this set, if I'm honest. Four from the back. All right, Psychic type. Got the Luxio, Rusted Sword. It's a bit of shine on the card, look at that. Rotom, got the Chutzel, Glossifer, Eevee, do you reckon? Got the more Pico, and then it's gonna be a regular rare. I think it's settling our taste palette. Sagando, like gonna bring you back down to earth. You've been pulling too many Bangaruskis. But, we'll unleash the beat. Oh, hey, yep. We'll unleash the beast in a second. There was a bit of texture and a bit of shine on that thing. 
And then we've just got evolutions out the wazoo. Rookie, nick it, shoots all. Oh, it's more Pico. That's all right. Why does that seem so flat? Like, it feels like the textures, the reprint of Shining Fates seem a lot thinner than like a normal one. More Pico, you can see the texture better in the camera than I can see it in person. Put you at the back. Okay, evolution time, and we're gonna end it with the celebrations, which I think is kind of fitting. Okay. Any old school holo card would be great. I really, really wouldn't mind another full up Blastoise as I mentioned. Those just look nice in the binder. And I think everyone likes the Charizard, so we'll go for one of those as well. Not the basic one, but like, you know, the regular ones. Cause there's regular Zards in the set too. They went crazy. 20th anniversary, what a good time. Tangela, got the Volpix. <gasps> Are you serious? Okay, don't break it, don't break it. Ando, do not squeeze the card. We have just pulled a Charizard. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I stuffed the card trick, but who cares? Ladies and gentlemen, I have just pulled one of these on evolutions. I am trying so hard not to do anything to the card. This is the most fun flipping opening ever. My luck with evolutions recently is off the charts. Like we pulled the full holo version in my error opening. And now we've got the base set Charizard reverse. Dude, this opening's been amazing. Reverse Charizard and a first edition Machamp? <sighs> Alright, let's keep it going. Yes! I thought that would be nerfed. Honestly, I'm so happy I opened that box now. I don't know if they are anymore, but like there was a point where those reverse Charizards were selling like crazy insane prices. Because they like, just a base set Zard was like everyone wanted it. Okay, five or so boosters remaining, so we're on the home stretch now, guys. I don't know if like <laughs> oh Pikachu, I love you, bud. Weedle, Dozuo. Got the drowsy. It is three from the back. All right. <sighs> that is insane. That's really, really fun though. Three, because it's an X and Y set, guys. Not anything else. Sword and Shield. All right. Got the Star U. Got the Growler. Come on. Nay, hey, that's not even bad either. Hollow Gyarados. What do you think? Gyarados, I don't know. Why isn't Gyarados more popular? I have pulled this one, uh, like, in the Wizard of the Coast days, and when I do it, like, people don't really care too much. I think Gyarados look awesome. This is fantastic news. Got the Hollow as well. What do we got? Three? Yep. Three evolutions left. I'm trying to drag it out as much as I can, because I know this boost, this, it's just gonna go so fast, which it already has, and... It's almost over. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. We're starting off with Imakuni Zoduo, Secret Rare. Amazing. Put this one in the back. I love the hand-drawn art. But there is something in the back. I saw the shine. Star you. Onyx. Fairy. Voltorb. There is something in the back, little Timmy. Sit down back in your lazy boy recliner. Oh, it's Pidgeot EX. We're getting like EXs. Like this is amazing to throw back right now. Pidgeot EX, you go with the back buddy boy. And let's keep it moving. Second to last Evo pack. And yes, we are ending on that Zard. We're gonna, like all three of these final ones could get the uh, Charizard, but we've already got the reverse form. There is something in the back again, no way. Yo, these Kanto boxes are bananas. Sandro pointed up, not playing around, look at that. Starmy break, oh that was it, okay. Arcanine, oh I've spoken too soon, we've got a break card. I mean, we've got the cross-section of everything today. Why not? Let's get a Starmie Break action going in there as well. A classic Disco Ball Pokemon card. Which, for some reason, was a thing in the X and Y days. All right, final Evo pack, and then the final booster pack. Three from the back, almost did four. We got a Magma. De-Evolution Spray. Got the Drowsy with the Pokedex. Electabuzz, Volpix, Sandshrew, Onyx. Reverse Raichu, that's a nice looking card. And a Dugong as the regular rare with super deep dive right there. Not too bad for our final Evo pull. Now, this is the final booster pack of a really, really fun custom booster box, which I hope you've enjoyed sitting down opening with me. I think it's just the inner Pokemon card nerd comes out when I do these, because I just love these, like, I don't know. It's, it's a good cross section and a highlight of everything I've got in my collection that I've wanted to open for ages. So let's open this up. Is our final one. Celebrations. One of the hardest boost packs to open because of how little cards are in there and you don't want to damage any of them. We're gonna go one for the back. 
All right, scribbling on his own Pokemon card, Professor Research. Come on, Oak, you're better than that. Cosmog, and the final pull will be... <gasps> Yeah, look at that, after all the talk. So we got the Gyarados from the Evolutions, and then we go and get Dark Gyarados right there, which is going to go amazing with our Dark Machamp First Edition Reverse Charizard. Let's have a recap of this amazing one-off, obviously, Custom Ed Booster Box. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to say that I told you so, but wasn't that the most fun, ridiculous opening ever? Custom-made booster boxes honestly make my day every time we open it and check out the recap. That is thicker than the fourth Harry Potter book. But let's have a look at what we got. The best part about when you do these, there's no set ratio. So, like, we only got two hollows, but look at the rest of it. Like... That is just mind-blowing. Anyway, two hollows, then we've got two cigarettes out of Evolutions. Everyone's favorite, $1.50 on eBay Disco Ball. It's the Starmie Break Guard. Then we've got an amazing rare Kyogre. Shiny Deancey. But here's where we get a good cross-section of Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, all the holiday sets. We've got Celebrations in here as well, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we've got the Gyarados again from uh, Evolutions. Nido King, gorgeous reprint. Got that beautiful, like, hollow pattern in the background. And there we go, Celebrations Dark Gyarados. But as you remember, not the only Dark Pokemon that we managed to get. Then Steam Siege managed to get us a pull. This is where I just knew the video wasn't enough. Like, Steam Siege never gives you the goods. So this was a fantastic day. I need everyone though, if you're gonna pick out one of your favorite pulls we got in today's video, what one is it? I know a little, little Timmy is going to be leaving that Steam Siege pull because it's rare that you get to see something come out those boosters. Then we got the Colossal, the more Pico as well, Shiny Full Art Electrode, and Shiny Full Art Gardevoir, which is a big fan favorite. So maybe that might be the most popular pull that we got. And then we managed to get a Rainbow Rare Birds on like the first pack. That is just... That doesn't happen. Like, how do we get such ridiculous luck all the way through the booster box? But two of the best cards, in my opinion, we've got. This is just my opinion. First edition, Dark Machamp. I can't get over it. The hollow, the way it's drawn, and the first edition stamp on this old school Team Rocket Wizardico slapper. Oh, I love it. I'm literally going to get this graded. We pulled it on the channel together. It looks fantastic. And I just got, what the heck? We pulled a base set Charizard on a custom booster box. But until next time though, guys, let me know in the comment section what was your favorite pull. Do, should we do another custom booster box opening? And keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then. Pfft.